continuing our series on Microsoft Excel from the beginning. Maybe we're not on the first steps anymore, we're on the sixth steps. We'll talk about conditional formatting in this video. And again, remember that we're just giving the big picture here, not all of the procedures. Conditional formatting, I, put, I wrote a definition here and split it into three lines applies a format, which could be an appearance or a symbol, color, to a cell, the same cell or a different cell, depending on a condition, some kind of a test or a value or a math problem or a comparison. In, in uh, the way you access it is up on the Home tab under Conditional Formatting. When you click that, you'll see uh, the, a set of rule possibilities and then even some with pretty pictures icon sets and the the other place you can access is here uh, to create a new rule you can choose one from those or create one of your own clear the rules there are and you see the pink eraser yeah you see we use that in word and manage rules. We'll look at that on the next slide, but lots of possibilities there in the newer versions of Excel. Under that manage rules section, you could uh, show form, show the formatting rules for, you know, to get a choice. And then if you notice here, you can have a new rule or edit an existing rule. Lots of new students just keep making new rules over and over if they didn't work. Well, why don't you just edit the existing rule or delete the existing rule and start over. And then what you'll apply the rules to is different kinds of cells according to different characteristics. In the beginning, probably we'll format only cells that contain such and such. Or maybe you'd format all cells based on their values. That might be like they have the, the colors down here where you can get different color shades according to their and according to their values or something. Well, anyway, so there are lots of possibilities, fun to play with, but that's the idea of what conditional formatting does. By the way, somebody, I just graded a paper. Don't click the column letter of the column you want to format. You click the individual cells you want to format. So this person had this green line running down to infinity because the, it was formatted for zero. So uh, choose only the cells you want to include in your particular formatting. All right, go play.